All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Walker, Walk on Wheels. You already know the vibe. If you've been here, you already know the deal. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, man, because I, I see a lot of people that watch my videos. Almost 90% of you guys are not subscribed, dude. So if you enjoy the content and you watch it more than once, you know, go ahead and subscribe, bro. It doesn't hurt. Unless you absolutely hate me, then, you know, I feel you, bro. My bad. <laughs> but, yeah, we hit another insane milestone, dude. We're just hitting milestone after milestone, bro. You guys are going absolutely nuts. Nuts. We, I think we hit, what, 500 subscribers today? When I woke up today, 500 subscribers, which is insane for like a month. I love you guys. I love all you guys. Thank you. I can't be more grateful. But somebody commented. I'll throw the comment up here. I forgot who it was, but somebody commented uh, shifting. I don't think I've ever went over how to shift. So if you're new to uh, riding a Grom or a motorcycle in general, you might be curious you know how someone who's been riding shifts which makes sense you know let me uh let me do my helmet because i'm a cornball and i never ever strap my helmet and i don't know why all right there we go i need to quit doing that i ride off without strapping my helmet i get everything else done but so shifting we're gonna go to a first thing you're gonna do is find a safe place you know if you don't know how to shift don't get on the road obviously these are things you need to learn long before you get on the road right so we're gonna go hit an empty parking lot like we always do for pretty much everything because that's the safest place to do you don't want to be doing anything on the road so especially learning how to ride on the road but yeah, shifting is pretty simple. I'm going to show you how to rev match. I'm not extremely good at it, but rev matching is when you, you're slowing down, downshift, and you like blip the throttle. I don't know if it's necessary, but satisfying, yes. And does it make you look a lot cooler? Of course it does. So why wouldn't you want to learn how to do it? Plus, if you uh, want to take riding seriously in the future, I'm sure you'll need to know certain things like that, but... See, I still miss some. Um, I don't know. It's hard. Oh, and this road's terrible. I'm going to let this guy go first. Because I do not want to be. Oh, oh, it's just right there. Hopefully it's not bad up here, though. But 500 subs. 500 subs, guys. What is going on? I'm going to start posting shorts, too. I'm probably going to make a short about shifting as well. Which you guys might not see that unless, you know, you're looking for it. But somebody also said, I'd like to see the Grom on a uh, go-kart track. Which I never thought about that. That sounds badass. And I wonder if there's a go-kart track near me. I know there's dirt tracks, but asphalt tracks, I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research about that. Which that would be pretty dope. That'd be awesome. I'm sure a lot of guys do that. But. We're gonna hit an open a par open abandoned parking lot. Last time we hit the church. I'm gonna try to find a different spot just so you guys aren't looking at the same thing every time. You know another thing that I want to experiment with is GoPro has like a horizon lock, so it looks like I'm leaning more. Or not leaning more, but necessarily, but you guys can see how much I'm leaning. It's kind of exaggerated. I, I think that'd be interesting for a uh, some kind of video we could use that but oh a night a night ride dude a night ride i forgot about that i told y'all that i was gonna make a night ride and it's coming i swear i just have not had time to do it it's coming i promise it's coming i think a night ride would be pretty dope but yeah i did not forget about it and i did not lie it is in the works in the process and it will be here eventually I just wanted to bang these out because these are what subscribers wanted and, you know, I kind of want to give you guys what you want, you know, if you want to learn something. It's kind of my first priority right now. Oh yeah, another thing. I got my boots, dude. Look at them. I got the exact same pair, dude. They're just brand new. Which 
just nuts. I got a belt, a wallet, a Carhartt belt, Carhartt wallet, and I got another pair of boots, dude. And it was like $250, which is insane, bro. No wonder everybody's broke. Cheeseburger's 25 bucks. Like, what the hell, man? That dog is scary. Those are the scariest dogs, dude. The little ones that bark with, like, the rasp. Arf, arf. That's just terrifying, bro. And he did not have any regard for me and just pulled out right in front of me, so that's great. You know? Gotta love that. I'm gonna have to hit this turn, of course. <laughs> I love that turn. Let's try it. This is another church. We haven't stopped here to talk for a video, so. Might be interesting, right? Make sure we turn our blinker off because we do not like to do that. I'll show you guys the Honda Grom, by the way. Again, because who doesn't want to see the Honda Grom, especially if you're new? <laughs> Dirty as hell, obviously. You know, it wouldn't be the Honda Grom without it being dirty. But yeah, shifting. When it comes to shifting, uh, if you're completely new, find a parking lot. You don't want to be doing this out in the open, in the road, because you could hurt somebody or hurt yourself, which nobody wants that. Especially if you don't know how to ride. So you're going to find you a nice little spot. You know, you might have to take, you might have to unload your Grom somewhere. You know, if you can't ride there. Or you don't have a spot accessible to you, you know, you might have to put in a little bit of effort to stay safe, which sucks. Unless you have a neighborhood that has no traffic whatsoever, then I guess that would work. But when you're starting here from scratch, you want to you wanna go into gear, first of all, and you want to rev up a little bit. And you want to know, you want to get a feel for where your clutch, you know, the friction zone right there. You want to get a feel for because that should be power no power power no power power no power and you don't have to go completely in and out with your clutch it's just a little bitty like maybe five millimeter power no power power no power and you just want to practice that first of all then once you get used to that you're going to get in first gear you're going to hopefully get moving without stalling for the first time and you're going to be doing this And you're gonna to want to shift up, clutch in, shift up. And then you're gonna do the same thing as when you took off. You're gonna give it a little bit of power, and you're gonna ease the clutch out. Once you get really good at this, I mean, you're gonna. Well, hold on. You're gonna you're gonna be in second, obviously. But you're gonna clutch in, shift down, and you don't want to be going too fast when you shift down because it could jerk you. You know. Whoa. Pause. It could uh, <laughs> could lock up your back wheel if you got too much RPMs, but that's also another thing you learn. It's engine braking. So when you're going fast and you want to slow down without using your brakes, you can engine brake. Or if you're going down a hill, you can shift down and it'll it'll keep you at a steady pace. But uh, you just want to master that first clutch in, shift up, ease clutch out, and you're in second gear. You're gonna turn around, clutch in, shift down, ease into it. And this is, when you shift down, that's when you can match your RPMs. So, say you're in second gear, you wanna shift down, you're going pretty fast, you rev up, then you match your RPMs and you let the clutch out. That's called rev matching, which you don't have to do that, but that's just a creature comfort kind of cool thing you can learn to do, which makes it less jerky and more uh, smooth, everything more smooth. So you're going to shift down, rev match. See, once you get really fast at it, you can do that. And also, once you start, once you get to where you shift up pretty quickly and you get really, really comfortable with it, you can go from first to second really fast. And that's just what you do. You just got to do it over and over. The only thing that is between you and me, if you're a brand new rider, is experience. All you got to do is get out there and ride. But... You know, you'll learn those things over time. I'll show you guys how to rev match. Once you, uh, 
once you learn it for a while let me close my visor once you learn it for a while you're gonna be going say you're going down the road like this you're gonna be going you know 30 40 or whatever you're gonna be in fourth gear so you're gonna rev match all the way down to what first gear till you stop so you're gonna have to get used to consecutively rev matching down 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 so I'm gonna come up on this pretty one two three and then now we're in first gear and it didn't the whole thing with rev matching is it didn't jerk my tire so say say I'm going really fast in the uh, third gear right and I shift down let out the clutch see how it jerks that's what you don't want to do and that's why you rev match so I hope this helped a bunch of people I think in my uh, next video yeah I think it'll be next video which I'm gonna record either today or tomorrow but this one's gonna be the one for Tuesday which you guys will see I hit 500 subscribers today so that's pretty dope I'm kind of curious to see by the time this video even comes out because we've been growing very very fast and i'm so thankful for you guys and i'm glad you guys enjoy it and maybe take things away from the videos that i make and that's that's really all that matters to me right is that i'm doing this for a reason you know and i'm and i enjoy it i have fun that's another reason i i enjoy doing it so it's sweet uh so another person commented they wanted to see they wanted to see my vlogging setup, which I'm not sure I even went over that on YouTube yet. I know I've done it on TikTok, but the vlogging setup is, eh, it's kind of simple, but it's something we could bang out in, in one video for sure. But yeah, that's going to be the next video of vlogging setup. We're going to go over all that, how I get the audio, how I do, uh, you know, my GoPro set. I know I've done GoPro settings. I don't know if I'll go through the settings, but I'll sure go over the equipment. And stuff like that because i already have a video for the settings which you guys can go look at that's that i'm pretty sure it's been sweet also everything's turning green i don't know if you can tell but there's a little bit of hint of green out here in the world so that's super nice it's 60 degrees it's gonna be it's gonna be nice man coming up these next months lots of videos about to be banged out but yeah thank you guys for coming remember you know if you're here and you enjoy the videos, don't forget to subscribe because most of you, I think it's 90% of you are not subscribed. So I'm Walk on Wheels. Uh, it's been a great video, guys. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.